Hello, boys and girls. Once again, I'm trying to figure out Primordia, and you are welcome to watch. So, last time I left off, uh, I was uh, sort of. Uh, I found uh, one solution which I didn't want to uh, implement yet. So, I found out that. Uh, Let's call him a crook. He's not technically a thief, but uh, well, barter crook. Leopold is indeed uh, more than there was meets a time the eye. the metal of Metropol's main street gleamed. Those who let the city fall into rust deserve no better than this broken down waste. You think this is a broken down waste? <laughs> Wait till you come visit the unique. Okay, so uh, it turned out that uh, uh, barter barter crook uh, Leopold. Is indeed uh, more than he seems, and that uh, he is indeed uh, the builder of the ever faithful uh, bugger at the bomb site. Uh, it's, it's basically a, an aspect of him, but uh, discovering this meant that uh, Leopold is going away. And right now, I still have stuff that I want to trade from him. Uh, also, I was able to converse with the info booth, and I found some. some, 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 some uh, hidden entries. Uh, and, uh, and hints. Some of which I think I haven't been able to figure out entirely yet. Uh, but uh, in order to bring Leo some of the stuff that I want to try, uh, I, I decided, I, I figured that I would have to come down here again. And as usual, double checking uh, the stuff that I have already done paid off. So, uh, right now, what's uh, stopping us to get into that uh, other end is that I don't know the code uh, to put into the transmitter. And to find the code, we would have to find some robot who was built by that uh, factor dude. And uh, right now, our closest uh, lead is Oswald, and Oswald had a hey, brother. Boss, do you think that's Lawrence's skull? It does look like it. Clarity, can I take this skull? Of course, unless it makes you feel <laughs> barbaric. I apologize. The law notices neither scorn nor approval. Yay! So now we have a skull. It's a head from Clarity's trophy rack. There's a memory port near the base. Remind me to have someone else handle my funeral arrangements. <laughs> funeral? I just recycle you. My point exactly, boss. <laughs> okay, let's try this. Any significant memory will have been lost when he became a shell. The only thing I can find is the sequence 518, 518, over and over again, after the phrase, help me factor. That sounds like a glitch, boss, not part of the council code. Agreed. Three digits, not four. Let's see what my data says now. Oh, it starts with five. Five one eight five. Let's try this. Oswald's twin. Factor's favorite. Let's hop right over here. Uh 
Huh. You have called for help, but you are not one of Factor's children. I am Horatio Nobelt, version 5. These are my friends, Crispin and... Clarity Arbiter Belt. I know her, of course. <laughs> I am Factona, partial of Factor Manbelt, who needs no introduction. <laughs> now I ask again, by what right have you called for help? Is Factor still alive? He sleeps, as do his thousands of children. He has left me, his partial, to manage his affairs. When the time is right, he will awaken and cover the world <laughs> in steel and wire. Will he make me new arms? <laughs> no. He will recycle you into something more useful. <laughs> like a tank? <laughs> no. Like a crankshaft. Metromind has ruined the city. Factor needs to help stop her. Factor allowed Metromind her mastery, knowing she would fail. When all it starts to rust, he will return and recycle it into something better. In the meantime, why should he care what happens to robots who mean nothing to him? I need the council code so that I can enter the tower. Do you? The city is full of robots with many needs. They do not come here and transmit a cry for help. Only Factor can help me. Factor helps his children. We solved the legal dispute between Oswald and Cornelius, Factor built. Please. <laughs> Factor had little regard for those things. I know the routine by now. What do you want in exchange <laughs> for the code? Nothing. Factor will do nothing for robots like you who mean nothing to him. He cares only for his children. Oswald and Cornelius chose not to sleep when Factor shut down. And he never cared for them anyway. Goodbye. Oh, Boss, there has to be something we can do to make him realize that this matters to Factor. Okay. We need to find something that Factor actually cares about, Boss. Something Factotum won't be able to ignore. Let's see. I hope that this uh, little bugger will hang around while we search for next clues. Do I have a key card? Oh. Do you recognize this? I do. It is the head of Lawrence Factor Belt. Are you threatening me? No. I'm showing you what Metromind has done while Factor slept. She turned Lawrence into a mindless shell, scavenging the underworks. The only thing he could still think was 518, over and over again, calling in vain for Factor to help him. I see. Do you? Give me the hand. I do not care what happens to the city, nor does Factor. But he cared for Lawrence. You have brought me a piece of Lawrence, so I will give you pieces of what you asked for. 7510-4803. As for the rest, awaken some other ghost. This would be the mask, um, uh, Lawrence um, Leo kept asking for. It does yes. look clarity. Can I take this? Of course. Yes. I apologize. The law notices neither scorn nor approval. Okay, let's check the street. Let me see your stuff. Come take a look. Alrighty. Look, oh, bring me something that'll cover her face if it's yours. 
see it's something to cover a face, not a skull. Oh, okay, so this would make no difference, okay. So. pieces of the council code primer and still not enough for i'm sorry to say now find me more shots and get on your way so if i can then i will try to leave uh, leopold's uh, revelation for the lost i hope it's possible I accessed Lawrence's memory and it contained a number repeated over and over again. 518. Do you have any idea what it means? Yes. This is a distress call used by Factorville robots. Typical. But even in the end, he was looking for handouts. <laughs> Goodbye. Oh, he is so sweet, so. Bye bye. showing your gospel to Leopold. Maybe you guys can bond over it? <laughs> yes, we certainly will. Tell me, Horatio, what do you intend to do when you have recovered your power core? Go home. And? And what? Do I need something more than that? Yes, I think you do. Says the one who lived in the Underworks. Yes, says she. <laughs> She's master control, but uh, gonna be the first action name. Something better to do, like, say, finding us a power core? 
<laughs> Let's go somewhere with a view and hang out a little. Boss, do you think she's coming back? The floater? The floater. Yes, the floater! I assume she'll be back tomorrow after she's recharged. Metropolitan law requires exactly such a cooldown period. But what if we're gone tomorrow? <laughs> the law makes no allowance for lovelorn foreigners. I hate your law. It also makes no allowance for bitter foreigners. that were mentioned, we can't actually access them, they are just sort of, we know that they are there. All storage bladders empty. Let's go hang out near the station. I want to have some, oh, who are you? I don't think he wants to talk, boss. Usually when I allow some idle time, then I, I hear some stuff from the others. Quite a tower. Yep, it's a view. Again, this one is following us. I can read it myself. <laughs> Metropole's bleak skyline. What? Well, the inside? Guys? Someone put a cannon inside a subway station. Probably for training purposes. <laughs> har, uh, har, uh, har. Training purposes, get it? I got it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what else can we examine here? Some kind of blast crater. It's a clock. train lines and stations. It's a map of train lines and stations. And this one too won't look any different, but can I, let's say, download it? Feudal. Okay. It looks like it's just... Totally uh, unilluminating. Paper. Paper. It's a map of train lines. Yeah, yeah. We should see if there's anything in that printout that might be relevant to 187's case, boss. Oh, come on. It's junk. The printout just... The law and you. Just for giggles. Hey, wait. I don't think I can read it anymore. I doubt that will have any effect. Wow. 
mouse finger for thumb. Oh, and he doesn't even have the plug board listed here. Huh. So I wonder if these are just, uh, no, I mean, Leo's. Party list. If the more exotic items are just just for for the player's fun, or is there actually some barter involved? No clarity. Whenever you're around, I feel like I'm just floating through the air. <laughs> you are floating through the air, Crispin. <laughs> See, I told you she was checking me out. Totally. Oh. It doesn't look any different. But if I open it? Oh, okay, I can't use. Stringent and catalytic fluid. Yeah. Come on, talk. Boss, what about showing your gospel to Leopold? Maybe you guys can bond over it? We will get to that. Boss, do you hear a clicking sound? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well said. Well said indeed. Boss, we need to make a rocket ship. No, Crispin, we don't. But if we did, we could harness the power of a black hole. <laughs> <sighs> oh yeah, the uh, hidden uh, data in the info booth also mentioned other locations, uh, like the rocket pads, and uh, which once laid, uh, I mean, launch pads for rockets, uh, which were used to send stuff in the orbit, and especially to a lunar station. Uh, there was mention of a cathedral. <laughs> and uh, so I think there were at least three uh, metro lines all together. No, I must be four. Blue line, yellow line, red line, and then the old I wouldn't expect much conversation. A small robot drawing lines on the street. Fortunately for the robot, its chalk is blowing away, or I would be forced to impound it for vandalism. <laughs> A gray android. Okay. Oswald factor built. Let's see if we can get some more into Just another floating robot. Hey! <laughs> No, Crispin, that robot looks a lot like you. Yeah, if you take away the charm and chiseled features. <laughs> I'll keep that in mind for when I upgrade you. Yay. It's Leopold, the junk dealer. Okay, and the cleric doesn't have anything oh, to say. Oh, it's so cute! 
I'm waiting for the punchline. What? Can I like a cute little robot once in a while? <laughs> I doubt it. <laughs> it leads down to the underworks. No, not this one. I want to. Too late for clicking. I think there's a little bit more open space. Hey, Crispin. Do you see how that little robot is sweeping the streets? Maybe you could learn something from it. I already understand the futility of my existence. It has nothing left to teach me. It looks like a lighthouse, only without the house, or the cool stripes, or the coastline, or any boats. I guess it just looks like a light. Are you finished? Yes. <laughs> okay, who else is passing by? Tiny robot. Crispin? Clarity Arbiter Build. Let's hang out over there a little bit. What about the sad robot? Saved our lives. Clarity? Hm. She doesn't have anything to say. I am waiting. A rather simple looking model. Bus stop. Service suspended. Hm. Clarity still doesn't have anything to say. Bus stop. Service suspended. I am waiting. We should see if there's anything in that printout that might be relevant to 187's case, boss. 187 is dead, Crispin. Dead. Okay, I am waiting. so it looks like I won't be able to figure out any more of the code unless I uh, take... Even I feel kind of bad for that guy, boss. <laughs> he just seems so hopeless and helpless. If he continues loitering, his conduct will not merely be tragic, but also criminal. <laughs> uh, where was I? So, I am so yeah. Uh, I won't be able to figure out the, the memorials code without uh, checking the data stores more. So, once again, I'm going to uh, wrap up. Let's see. Just for a good measure, separate menu and save. Yes. Uh, wrap up here and uh, return to my dear computer. So once again, bye bye and see you some other time.